So God bless you. Thank you for joining me today. So the video that aired on Sunday, which was recorded a few days before that, I spoke about how we didn't need big miracles for us to know that God was real and that God is present. But I would say what happened on Saturday night was a big miracle. Now, for some of you, this may not be your first go round with this, unfortunately. Some of you, this may have not ever occurred in your lifetime, but this has happened, unfortunately, in the past with Robert Kennedy, John Kennedy, George Wallace. I remember being in school when President Reagan was shot. And of course, this was a time of no internet or anything like that. People didn't have cell phones back then. But I remember being left with the unknowing and I remember wanting to get home off the bus so I could turn on the TV so I could see what was happening. So if you've not experienced this before, it's pretty horrific, the tragedy that could have been. And if you've experienced this before, then you understand the tragedy that this could have been. But think about this for just a moment. This was a very big miracle. And for this man to, and this has nothing to do with what political party you're in, for this man to acknowledge that the only reason he is here is because of God. When the whole world is watching, the whole world is watching what he does. The whole world is watching what he says. For him to say that I'm only here because of God. When the whole world is watching, think about the impact of that. To me, yes, this was awful and another person has died and other people were injured and it's tragic and it never should have been. But for this man to say that the only reason that I am here is because of God, when the entire world is watching, I think that's pretty cool, quite honestly. So I want to share something from Hebrews. This is chapter 13, starting in verse 6. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. So I'm not saying that these leaders on the world are the most faithful people. I'm not saying that they're pastors. I'm not saying that they have much knowledge of scripture. I'm not saying any of that. What I am saying is that here is the man who recognizes that the only reason he is here is because of God's mercy and grace. And to be on the world stage when the entire world is watching and for that to be included in your statement, think about the impact of that. I think that's pretty incredible. So as tragic as all of this is and how it could have been so much worse, I don't know that any other person could have garnered as much attention across the world as this man. But for him to say that the only reason that he is here is because of the grace of God. I think that's pretty incredible. So those small miracles that I talked about, we see big miracles as well. Armor up, we ride at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.